All right, welcome to part two of adding the friend request feature to Adalo. Um, we've already added kind of our friend request screen, and one thing that actually that I forgot to do in the other video that we need is we actually need to add uh, in, in the database over here, we need to add another property here, um, a, just a text property, and this is just going to be the requests. Uh, you can call this pretty much whatever you want, but I'm just going to call this an index. Um, and this is going to work similarly to how the search index works, if you've seen that video. Um, but basically what we're going to do is when they click accept right here, we're uh, in this update request action, we're also going to add the uh, current requests uh, sending users email to it. And then we're also going to put a space in here and add the uh, current request receiving users email um, and what this is going to do is allow us to change the visibility of these icons based on whose email is in this index um, and we can also filter lists off of it and all sorts of things there so um, that's a I, I'm, I forgot to mention that in the previous video but that is necessary all right so now that we've got that let's go in here and add a button uh, to actually get to that requests screen so we'll just call this requests and we'll just remove the icon there and we'll link it to the friend request screen there all right and these buttons are going to this is where it gets a little bit complicated because we need to control uh, you know which buttons are visible uh, and we want to be able to provide good feedback for our users so that you know when they click on the plus you know add friend icon here uh, they get some sort of feedback that hey my request went through and it's pending uh, so that's kind of why we have this icon and then we also want to give them the option to remove that person as a friend um, in the future as well so um, let's go to um, let's actually start with this one I think this is a good place to start so the action that we want to add here is let's add an action to just create a request um, and what we want to do is we want to um, add the uh, sending user, which would be the logged in user, whoever's on this page, and the receiving user is just going to be the current user, right? And you could also fill in the, the request index here as well. Uh, that would that would work um, if you wanted to just go ahead and create it that way. Uh, so the current user email, you know, and then also the maybe the logged in user email. Uh, that would be fine. You can do it that way too. All right, so now for the visibility, this is where it gets a little bit tricky, but we only want this icon to be visible. Um, we only want it to be visible if the number of requests that have been created that are false, um, that include both of these users, the logged in user and this user, is greater than one, right? So as soon as I create a request and that request has been made, I want this icon to disappear but we have to have some way of evaluating whether or not that that you know a request that meets that criteria exists and the easiest way to do that is to just count how many requests meet that criteria so that's what we're going to do let's go into uh, requests count here um, and what counts allow us to do is actually add a filter to this um, and what we want to do is we want to look at all the requests where the requests index uh, contains the both the logged in users email and where it the requests index uh, contains the uh, current users email oh I'm sorry that's the wrong one the logged in users email there we go um, and the reason that we use an index for this is because um, this could go both ways right so I, I don't want it to only show you know I don't want it to show this icon if for instance uh, you know I sent the request but for some reason on his profile if he saw my name here he would see the icon when he he really shouldn't be seeing the icon because we're already friends um, so we only want to show the ones that where this uh, where this criteria is met um, but we only want to show the icon if the, the, the number of requests that meets this criteria is less than zero, right? Because that would mean that we, or I'm sorry, is less than one. 
because that means that nobody has made the friend request yet on either side he or I have made the request um, uh, and so that's kinda how we're gonna do that a little bit tricky there kind of hard to explain actually very hard to explain but uh, that's kinda how that one's gonna work all right and this the second icon here is actually going there's not gonna be an action associated with with this it's just an indicator um, but this icon visibility is very similar to uh, this one except we only want to filter it uh, for the ones that are false right um, so let's let's go ahead and do that uh, let's change the visibility to sometimes visible and this is only going to be visible if the number of requests uh, where again the request index contains the current user's email and also the request index contains the logged in user's email but also we only want to view we only want it to show this icon if there are any requests that have not been accepted so we're going to change this to accepted is false right there and we only want to see it if the number of those requests is greater than or equal to one so again this is just the exact opposite of what this icon is right um, and so that's kinda how we're gonna filter that one again even more confusing than than the first icon but that's kinda how that works alright again no action there for this button here this button is going to create an action and it's actually just going to be the opposite of the accept button right so instead of adding each other as friends, we're going to just remove each other as friends. All right, and that can be initiated by either party. So what we want to do is make sure that we update both parties uh, to reflect that. So we'll just update the current user so that their followers does not include the logged in user and their following does not include the logged in user. And then we also want to update the logged in user so that their followers does not include the current user and their following does not include the current user either all right so that's what that button is going to do and then we're also going to change the visibility of this so that it is only visible if the logged in user and again you can use this either way you can use current user or logged in user uh, but it will only be visible if the logged in users followers all uh, contains the uh, current user all right we only want to show this button if they are friends all right all right so uh, we've got our visibility uh, there uh, we've got our accept screen hopefully I will not have messed this up but let's give this a quick test here and we can kind of see what's going to happen here uh, okay so we've got it looks like this is you know removing and we can actually change this so that you know these appear in different locations but um, we've got our guy here let's say that I'm making a I'm logged in as dude or actually I'm not even sure who I'm logged in as let's let's log in as somebody um, let's do dude at gmail dude all right, uh, and it looks like we need to filter this list so that we don't see ourselves there. Something's still going on there, but uh, let's see if we can, you know, add this person as a friend. All right, so that's cool. So that switches over, um, and you'll notice that in my record as well, it switches over to pending, showing me that I've got there's some sort of request uh, going on there, um, which is good. Uh, normally we wouldn't be able to see ourselves there, but that's good. So let's go to uh, let's log in as man and see if we have a request from dude so let's log out we'll sign in here as man at gmail.com this one will be man so let's log in okay so we've got um, again we're seeing ourselves here as man but we need to kind of filter that list and probably should have done that uh, let's go to requests and see what kind of requests we have pending here and look we've got a request from dude so let's hit accept and we should see that this uh, thing goes away and it does so let's go back and see if our icons have actually changed 
And it looks like as man, we have dude that we can remove as a friend, all right? So that's kind of the basic functionality. Again, that was a real quick way of doing it. Um, that's the basic functionality of creating friend requests in Adalo. You can change that up and make it look you know, however you want, put things on different screens if you want. This is not a set way to do this, um, but it is kind of a very specific workflow in order to get that to work. Um, and that underlying kind of uh, structure of the workflow is, and, and the data is kind of what you need there. So, all right, hope this was helpful for you. If there's anything I can help with, just shoot me a, um, you know, a comment, um, you know, visit the website, uh, connect with me on Twitter, whatever you need to do, and I'll be uh, happy to help as best I can and as time allows. Thanks.